Okay, good. So the last uh, presentation of the day, and then we'll have the final uh, Q&A session. Um, James, it's here or is there? Where is it? Okay. So I use the clicker or the laptop? The clicker. Clicker. Okay, good. Okay, so the last uh, presentation is with hosting and cloud. Where is it? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Hosting and the cloud options. Uh, first, let's get some uh, definitions right. What are we? When I say uh, hosting and cloud, what do I mean? So, hosting is uh, what we call private cloud. Um, it means that uh, your priority installation is installed somewhere, but it's your private installation. You are the only one using it, and it serves you only. It can be uh, self-hosted, so you find any data center and you host your installation with the data center, or uh, you can host it with us, with Medatech. We provide hosting services. Um, and both are basically what we call private cloud. Uh, cloud, when I say cloud, I mean public cloud. Public cloud, multi-tenant, it means one installation that uh, serves many, many uh, companies, users, businesses, and so on. Uh, and when we mean SaaS, software as a service, uh, it applies to both. You can do SaaS with software as a service with hosting, any type of hosting, or with cloud. Okay, so these are the definitions. When I say hosting, it's private cloud. When I say cloud, it's public cloud, multi-tenant. Okay, why do we need to have this session at all? Uh, the reason is that uh, cloud installations and cloud in general and hosting uh, as the business is growing. It's growing, more revenues going into uh, the cloud. Uh, the cost uh, of uh, downtime uh, is going down because downtime is going down. down. Uh, the reasons for uh, downtime are very limited. Either it's a, a power shortage or accidental human error uh, or a water um, uh, heat or computer uh, room heat or something like that. So the reasons are going down and it's becoming more, more and more um, uh, available, uh, financially attractive and less uh, downtime. Uh, Forbes magazine, cloud, uh, cloud continues to grow and evolve with exciting new use cases. So there are more and more use cases for cloud installation, and Tribunal.net says the global cloud computing market is forecast uh, to go over uh, 1 billion um, US dollars in 2026, as much as 80% of organizations are predicted to migrate to a cloud by 2025. In this room, eight companies out of 10 will migrate to the cloud by 2025. And uh, 25, 84% of uh, enterprises already run a multi-cloud uh, strategy. Um, it means enterprises are businesses with hundreds or over 1,000 employees. 
So uh, enterprise level businesses already uh, deploy cloud and not only a single cloud, but multi-cloud uh, strategy. Oops, what did I press? Okay, so when we, so th this is the use case why we need to discuss cloud because it's becoming more popular and more and more of you would be inter interested in this option. Our job is to make it available for you anytime you like to do it and price attractive. Let's start with the licensing uh, options. With priority, you have two licensing options, either perpetual and maintenance. It means that you purchase uh, your um, usage rights and you pay upfront for the purchase and you pay 20% annual maintenance. The advantage is lower cost on the lo long term, lower TCO, total cost of ownership, on the long, long term. The disadvantage is limited flexibility. If you buy 50 users and then after two years you want to scale down to 40 users, we don't credit you. You can pay less maintenance, but users you buy and deploy, you cannot get, you be credited for. The second option is subscription. Uh, it allows better cash flow. It's similar to rent a car or buy a car. So it's better cash flow and you have full flexibility. Every quarter, you can adjust the number of users. You subscribe 50 users. After nine months, you want to go down to 40. No problem. You drop us an email. Next quarter, we bill you for 40 users. Actual number of users you want to use. Uh, the disadvantage is higher costs in the long term. Generally speaking, it evens up after around three years. In five years, you pay much more on the subscription option. Generally speaking, in Australia, we offer only the subscription model. Um, in the UK, clients are more interested in the long-term costs, and right now the subscription is less popular with UK clients than uh, the perpetual model. model, model. Okay, some comments. First, there's no hybrid. If you go subscription, it's subscription. If you go perpetual, it's perpetual. We do not allow hybrid installation, that some licenses are uh, perpetual and some are a uh, subscription. The service and support is identical for both uh, licensing options. A client can port, if you are not sure, you can subscribe for 12 months, and then you decide you like it, you can buy for the rest of, the, of your life or the system or whatever. And in the future, perpetual might not be offered. Um, other software vendors, NetSuite, uh, Salesforce, they do, Microsoft, they do not offer the perpetual model anymore. It's just subscription. The reason is obvious. They make more money on the long term. Another reason is this way, um, they compete better with smaller vendors, uh, software vendors. A small uh, software vendor dependent on cash flow, and um, uh, as a vendor, cash flow is much better on the perpetual model. You understand why? So this is another reason, but generally speaking, right now, both options are available. What is the physical model? How do, actually, how do, can you install priority? So basically, three options. Option number one, install on-prem or self-host it with any data center that you contract. Uh, the advantage is that you have full flexibility. It's your installation, it's your system admin, it's your DBA, everything is done by you. The disadvantage is that you need to uh, maintain it. It's high maintenance on, on the client side. Second option is to host it with Medatech. We offer hosting services with a third party, it's called Region Networks. Um, yeah, basically, the, the costs are reasonable. The advantage is that there's no maintenance on a client side. On your side, zero maintenance. We back up, uh, we maintain, we do system admin, we do the disaster recovery, everything of us, on, on us. You just use and enjoy. The disadvantage 
is that as a user, you have no access to system admin. Only us, that we manage the system, we manage the installation, we have access to system admin, we cannot allow it uh, to, to, for um, users or clients to have the system admin uh, access. The third option, uh, Gil mentioned uh, this morning, is cloud. And uh, the cloud is managed by priority software. It is, okay, I get, I get it. By the end of the presentation, I'll know how to use it. So, so the cloud option is managed by priority software themselves. They are responsible. Uh, it's actually installed in AWS out of Dublin. Gil explained uh, why earlier. The advantage is that it's the best uh, uh, pricing option. It's very attractive pricing. You pay per user. Uh, there's zero maintenance on customer side. Uh, the database is included. By the way, I forget to mention, with our hosting also, the database is included. But on top of that, with the cloud, um, it's uh, also uh, upgrades are included. And I'll explain in a later slide how upgrades are, upgrade are executed. Uh, the disadvantage on the cloud option is first, no access to system admin. On the user side, there's limited flexibility, limited control over upgrades. I'll explain those both, the limited flexibility and limited control, I'll explain in a minute. Okay, some comments? Okay. Uh, porting is available from each option or every option to any other option. You can start with self-hosting, go to um, on-prem, port to our hosting, port to the cloud, from the cloud back, any option. We offer full flexibility, uh, nothing is fixed. Any um, installation can be changed and ported. In order to port, priority needs to be on a uh, latest version. We do not port old versions. You want to port, first you need to upgrade, we upgrade or you upgrade, and then we can do the porting. Pricing model is subject to individual customer parameters. I cannot tell you exactly for every installation what is the cost. If you are interested, contact us, James, whatever, and we can uh, check the parameters and offer the, the, uh, the prices. Okay, so if we discussed um, licensing and we discussed physical installation, how does it work together? What are your options? We are the only vendor, software vendor, that offer flu full flexibility. Any uh, combination of license or installation uh, we deliver, we provide. Uh, you can do on-prem, on self-hosting with perpetual or subscription, subscription license. The co and one comment, database must be purchased by the user. You need to buy the uh, database on top. Second option, <coughs> hosting with Medatech can be done either with, with perpetual license or with subscription license. In this option, database is included, and you can go to the cloud, install on the cloud, or port to the cloud, either with perpetual license or subscription license. In this option, database is included, and upgrades are included as well. Okay, some porting uh, implications if you want to port. So comments, first, if you want to port to hosted, downtime is about two days, usually we do it over a Sunday and a Monday, recommended. The system is ported, tested, and approved, and around one month later, or the whole process is one month, uh, we can uh, port the live system. It's very important to do a test porting, make sure everything is uh, operational, and do the actual porting. If you want to port to the cloud, so downtime also again is about two days. Usually we complete it over the weekend. System is ported, tested, approved, and again, the whole process is around one month, including the testing and the live uh, porting. Two more comments. First, files in priority can impact on server space required and therefore the cost. One of the parameters for the hosting is the disk space that is required. 
Gil mentioned it later, and uh, I will not uh, repeat. And uh, test servers are available as required. If the um, porting requires a, ser a test server, which I mentioned, then of course we uh, provide the test server as well, if you like. Now I focus on uh, porting to the cloud. This slide refers only to the cloud, relatively new to priority customers, so it's important that we understand the implication. First, there will be a minimum of one upgrade per year. Every uh, cloud client will receive, and as I said, it's included in the uh, fees, at least one upgrade per year. Uh, in these cases, priority will upgrade in a temporary test phase. You will receive your installation on a test uh, environment for you to test. The live upgrade will take place once testing is completed. You test the installation, you approve it's working fine, and then we um, uh, upgrade the live installation. Integration must use API. On, cloud, on the cloud, there is no option for um, uh, any type of EDI installation, file transfers and data loading are very limited, so basically integration must use the API built-in priority engine. Any integration which requires executables or files on the server is not supported. Only API and file, can, file transfer can, and integration can be handled using software called FileSync. So these are the implications. Um, or terms of porting or using uh, the cloud. That's it. Now we reach the first thank you for listening. And uh, thank you. Uh, team, team and team, can you call everyone in for the last Q&A session? <laughs>